Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me, are you headed north? How far? As far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven? What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Did I win? You sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair. Connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock? Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. <laughs> Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep her busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? <laughs> seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. 
Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. And Kyle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. Can't say I did. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, <laughs> I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey! What about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I, I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Whoa, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said... Well, it don't matter, but I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay, do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No, it's too late. I'm on my own now. Got nothing to eat, no money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend.
No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Soul Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. gonna regret this but right now you're all I need I know Marlon two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style what's got you so <sighs> hello Who's there? Sorry, sorry. You you can. Uh... <sighs> Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a. What you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest, take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce's kid. The little boy your son left without a mama. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Don't ask me. The, the less I know, the better. Please. I've run out of options. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. It's always the same with you. Give Paul a sob story till you get what you want. Well, I'm done. Sob story? You think I do this to myself? Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? <sighs> that damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Don't know where he is. 
But after what he saw them do to Dale, my beautiful Dale, he'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. <laughs> Sorry. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? I don't go poking around in other people's lives, and neither should you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon. Back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink, don't you? Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look. Nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Sharon, I'm sorry, I can't. Not again. I'm begging you, please, just hear me out. Please. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback, call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be. But I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion. 
Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize, if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. <gasps> Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. <sighs> Open up. Shit, it's Dante. Fancy seeing you here. Does anyone know where you went? No, of course not. Who would I tell? I don't know. Your dad? <laughs> yeah, right. He's literally the last person I would tell. He thinks I'm in finals all day. Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> You might be the nicest person I ever met. <laughs> I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away. From everything. So, if I can help you, somehow... What's wrong? It's just... If you hadn't come... I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just feel dead inside. Like, maybe I don't even care. Of course you care. You're just hurt right now. How do you know? Because I've been there. Believe me. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that she needs to book to this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in the Salt Lake City Hotel? It's none of your business. What are you using? Is it that? I mean, that's no. <laughs> Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. 
He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill him. You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. with a fugitive. Uh, they're driving a base convertible. Taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. I like this too. No one to answer to, nowhere to be. I'm just wondering why it took me so long. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. The only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. <laughs> Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I wish. 
wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? You know what we are? We're wrestlers. Like in the Old West. Horse thieves. I think you like history. Well, beats algebra. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But he'll help me. <laughs> I said, open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... after what he's been through... Right. Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any, uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Find a... find a job? Something different? Y yeah. Gardening, maybe. Change a career? Sure. You know, I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah, seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a 
pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Oh. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Uh -huh. Go with your gut feeling? That's all anyone can do. Yeah, like I always say, I'd rather wind up standing in a courtroom than lying in a coffin. Or better yet, everyone just get the fuck out of my ass and let me do my job. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Mm. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Electrocuted in a damn bathroom. That's what. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Hell, yeah, I'd do my best by her, but guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? No, you smoke menthols? Uh trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah. Well, once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. <sighs> Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> After those old boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? You're not pointing the finger at me, are you? Dante, we're family. Oh, sure. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, 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 she wanted money. I, I, I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then... 
She said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch. It was you. You gave her the call. No, listen, Dante, I, I, I can... I... for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. No. Nuh-uh. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. You gave me that safe. The same model you put in the motel rooms. You gave me the factory code. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, Finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? no idea how desperate she was. The money, the house, Bear lost it all. No, no, no. She's using you, Paul. Can't you see? I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get-out-of-jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away.
for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. because you're high. I know it's because I'm high. Don't you want to dance? Nah, I don't dance. I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. person expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will he give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together, in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please, I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't run them all. I'll be at the car. Amazing. Dean, why did you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. 
But I did snag this. So did the two of you... Uh, did you... Wait, are you jealous? No. Why would I be jealous? Whatever. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? Well, he won't help with that. He... wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. I wish you'd told me the truth. Maybe I should have. Look, I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Idaho, huh? And I thought it was all potato farms. Something, ain't it? <sighs> You're not like the guys at school. The football players, and the athletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know, you're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home. We ran. Got holed up at this motel on Route 66. Uh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Are you angry? It's... It's just a lot. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me, and I trust you too, more than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Don't be sorry, but 
but is it okay if we just talk and stuff? Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I should have asked. It's okay. <sighs> it makes you feel pretty small. Being out under the universe. That's why I like it. Puts things in perspective. We're all just a tiny little piece of creation. Do you believe in God? Like the Old Testament one who created the world and judges us for our sins? I don't know. I don't think we're meant to know. Still, I wonder sometimes if the people we've lost, if they're out there somewhere. What do you think? Is your family up there? The ones you know, the ones you didn't know? Looking down on us right now, even. Dale, he could be mean, but he had a good side, too. Hi, Dale. Hi, Matt. We miss you guys. We should get some sleep. We're going to Canada tomorrow. Wait, we? You thought I was going to miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. Huh? You can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean? Or Jay, I guess? I haven't had a life in Two Rocks since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do, but are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay, then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. <sighs> so, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holtz have been in Turok over 150 years. It sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. Teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. 